Welcome to My Startup TV. I'm Major Sunil Shetty. We are at the India Startup Festival 2023. Uh, we are on day two today. It's about to start. And I have a special guest with me, uh, Flight Lieutenant B.B. Kumar, uh, who was a, a former fighter pilot and today is founder of Axel Aero. Uh, welcome to the show. Thanks, Major. So, I know in one way, uh, first I would start with, you know, the journey from being a, a, a soldier to an entrepreneur. We also have a program called Soldier Prana. Yeah. So, just give us a quick, uh, you know, brief about how was the journey? So the journey was very exciting. After uh, leaving the Air Force early, I got my commercial license. But after flying fighters, commercial flying wasn't very interesting. So I went ahead and uh, did an MBA in aviation. Uh, I did entrepreneurship in West Africa. I made some money, used it for my MBA. After that, I worked in Qatar Airways as a data scientist for a very long time. And I moved back to India in about 2017. I was working in the IT industry as a data scientist. And uh, during COVID, uh, a course mate of mine who is a fellow fighter pilot and uh, also a very accomplished civil pilot, Captain Krishnan, he gave this idea about uh, usage of simulators in the military which excited us and we started uh, conceptualizing the idea of next-gen simulator, how it should be and what it should do and we started building the product. And ISF is one of the organizations that uh, that we won last year and which gave us the opening to, which introduced us to how to develop this as a business. So that's pretty much my journey. India, Africa, Canada, back here. Like a pilot, you travel quite a bit, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> we also heard a lot of stories about you from uh, Jay Jodhri sir, oh. uh, how the whole thing came about in his interview. Uh, the whole con I mean, you are the first ones, you are the only one doing it in India, right? Correct. Talk about, you know, actually Aero itself as to what you're doing. You talked about flight simulators. Just give us the, you know, paint a picture of what will it do for the industry, defense industry, especially for the fighter pilots training. Correct. So, uh, so Axel Aero uh, is founded by two pilots and two engineers. Me and my course mate, uh, Captain Krishnan, he is uh, ex-DGCA. He has is a designated examiner on A320. Between both of us, we have about 11,000 hours of total flying, plus 4,000 hours of uh, simulator flying. And two outstanding engineers. Between us, we have 10, 11 patents filed, five granted, and millions of lines of code. Why this founding team is a bit important is what we set out to do is uh, in aviation, when a pilot transitions from one airplane to another, he does his entire training on a level D simulator. And the first flight he does on the new airplane is with full passengers. That's the importance of a flight simulator in the aviation industry. Now, this technology uh, is built in 1970s and uh, there are only three companies in the world which occupy 80% of the simulator manufacturing market. India imports all its high-end simulators. So when me and Krish were talking, Chris said, yeah, you know, in civil we use the simulators and they're also realistic and this is what they can do. But unfortunately, military doesn't have simulators of this nature. The military simulator requires to move much more than the civil simulator. These steward platform based civil simulators, they move only 20, 30 degrees in all rotational yeah. axis. So we conceptualize the idea that we need to rotate it full 360 to train fighter pilots yes. and have better visualization than the small window of visualization in a civil simulator. So virtual reality was a natural choice and we are going ahead beyond that now so we built our prototype uh, ourselves we did the design ourselves we purchased things we bootstrapped completely and we are happy to say that uh, uh, we now have a working prototype uh, which was uh, test flown by air force pilots and doctors and we were shortlisted for idex uh, open challenge last week and we had a presentation to the high power steering committee and we are awaiting the results so that has been the nature. What it does is the current simulators, the level D simulators of civil, they cost anywhere between 12 to 20 million dollars. An hour on them costs uh, 600 to 2,000 dollars. Uh, for helicopters, India has only one level D simulator. It costs 1.5 lakh an hour. So our technology can bring down the cost of training on high-end simulators below 100 dollars. Uh, it can provide uh, realistic feedback. Most importantly, there is a particular aspect called spatial disorientation, which is the biggest reason for fatal air crashes and hull losses in the aviation industry 12 to 30 percent to train pilots for spatial disorientation you need to move full 360. The simulator has to do exactly what the aircraft does. Aircraft does otherwise pilots who just sit with plus minus 20 degrees and when they get disoriented and there's an upset attitude of the airplane they fail to recover there have been a lot of crashes air france 447 fly dubai in rostov uh, very often we see in military we see it much more because of the nature of flying so our simulator is ideal for it 
and by perfecting this technology we think we'll make india a net exporter of simulators from the 100% importer that india today is so it's really passion and patriotism we built it and if it ends up in a profitable business nothing like it many congratulations to what you have achieved you know uh, it takes uh, i will not use the loaded word like passion and all because that's all seen here but the fact that the risk taking ability to you know leave something and get into something that you really believed in uh, when do you think what's the road forward when do you think uh, this would become a commercial product you know which will be used by the armed forces uh, especially the air force yeah the question same i am uh, my potential investors are asking so it's a long journey because uh, this product didn't exist before yes it's easy to sell something that existed which has a precedent so when we are going to the market i'm very happy that the pilots and the doctors of the air force they they flew it and they said yes this is very useful this could do this 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 things and the more than what we imagined actually for example they mentioned that hey we could use this to screen candidates before they become pilots rather than after they become pilots and uh, yes. yeah so we didn't think that about that saves it. a lot of cost isn't exactly. it and also saves time of the time youngster yes. um, so it, a life, life of the youngster uh, also life yeah. also that's true so three things life time and money you know money, everything. all three yeah and uh, so uh, so the process with the government takes time uh, luckily Uh, the current government has programs like uh, Make in India, Atmanirbhar, and Bharat. IDEX, yeah. which are actually fast tracking, fast tracking, yeah. and makes startups like us qualify for defence contracts or purchases, which otherwise we wouldn't have qualified. Which were unthinkable few unthinkable years ago, right? Unthinkable few years ago. So there won't be any business at all. Uh, and uh, the, there is interest from DRDO. They visited us, and again, I have to thank ISF. I'll mention it on the stage. JSR personally arranged meetings. He took me meetings with uh, uh, scientific advisor to the Raksha Mantri and uh, DRDO directors. They visited our workshop. They saw the simulator, and uh, we are working towards planning with them. At this point, it's really. Uh, I think it will take about a year. for the full commercial product to start and in about 18 months or so we should have the first product installed somewhere in the country and and the very fact that as you said you know it's only 20 30 degrees experience versus even if you have prototype 1 when it comes out version 1 think of iphone 1 to what we are today right 50th yeah, yeah. version uh, even you know even with all the money and the research a big company like a trillion dollar company like iphone can take 15 versions to come up with a best product Correct. it would take th- it would take time however the fact that today pilots don't have anything to having something which is better than what is existing is a big big jump is a big jump yes right? we believe it will be a big jump and made in india our product is made almost 90% 95% in india we sourced everything in india has some advantages today when uh, one of these imported simulators a component goes down the services have to run a helter skelter uh, uh, create a import invoice it takes many months and the equipment is down and uh, any modification becomes very expensive and today we want to uh, make indian missiles indian weapons to the indian airplanes and we want indian terrain indian runways and these foreign vendors will charge a lot to do it because they don't have a business case yes whereas we made in india can quickly turn it around at a much cheaper cost and we start with indian terrains and indian airplanes so it's a big boost and tomorrow even experimental projects like uh, lca mark 2 if uh, drdo says hey we want to test we should have a side stick or a central stick or this or how would be this missile what would be the rcs etc there are lot of things which we can do uh, pretty much in as part of our job and say hey this is how this will work it's our domain we've been there we flew those machines and uh, we've got fantastic engineers supporting us so th- i think it's great for the country great for the industry and hope it will be good for us uh, i would like to get your you know uh, uh, comments on india startup festival how has that helped you i know it's they, they are the ones who, but i for the benefit of the founders of other founders out there see india startup festival last year we i just came without knowing what it is i didn't know js or dina nobody i just came as a neutral entity i submitted my deck got shortlisted came and pitched and we won uh, we won fifth last year and i didn't even know that there was a result to be announced i just did a pitch and i left home i went to hyderabad when i landed i got a call sir where are you we have to give you a present uh, award i said oh i'm sorry i'm not there somebody else collected it so after that that was the interesting part uh, normally i thought this is over you got an award keep it on your wall it is done but uh, then dina called me and uh, jay sir and dina personally visited the workshop they saw the simulator that what we presented was actually real and said what kind of help do you need so i said uh, sir the, the business is with the armed forces or the drd or the defense psus i'm trying to get some meetings so that i can present this idea to them actually we've not done any business development till then we were just busy building the prototype 
Ajay sir actually took me personally to Dr. Satish Reddy on a table and introduced me and I got time to pitch my idea to Dr. Satish Reddy who was kind enough to call the DRDO program director, ADA program director and say have a look at this, this looks very interesting and useful. So uh, this was a pro bono, I mean uh, I did not expect this at all. And I am here this time not just to participate in a pitching session, but to actually publicly thank uh, ISF team and JSR. And for other entrepreneurs, what I would suggest is that, uh, first of all, it's a steep climb, 10,000 startups, 200 or 100 get shortlisted. That's a that's a one percent chance of making it to the pitching contest. And it's not about the contest or about the awards. It's really, uh, there are uh, Saturday mentoring sessions organized uh, immediately after the IS event for almost every Saturday. Uh, request to be there, there is groups available and uh, there are various mentors, small investors, big investors, industry experts, seek help, seek help like we sought. Uh, we sought help in making connections into an organization which even despite being a former Air Force officer, I won't, I won't get, you know how yes, hard it is yes, to yes. get very high level connections or even opportunity to talk to, right, so that I would say is, uh, JSR is well connected, ISF team is now with so many people coming here, hopefully next year international the reach would be much higher. Uh, finally, MySir TV is a channel for startups and entrepreneurs like you. We showcase you know, the work. Uh, what are your thoughts about our channel, the kind of work we are doing? Again, another, uh, another, I must say, surprising thing I never thought. I do uh, represent sometimes in media. I come there discussing aviation related things, accidents and uh, the F-16 versus MiG-21 things. But a TV channel for startups alone shows uh, how important this is, how, how much, uh, how the startup thing is growing in our country and you also being a soldier like me, uh, uh, kudos to you for this idea and the persistent execution of it, right, and I really wish you all the best. I would like you to grow as much as I would like myself to grow. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for being on the show. Jai Hind. Jai Hind. To stay informed about the startup ecosystem, subscribe to My Startup TV.